Is this working? This works. This works. It'll be a miracle. I don't think I'm live. Oh, I think I am, oh, I think live. I am live. Oh, oh. good thing I, good thing I didn't. Good thing I wasn't, thing I wasn't swearing or anything. Is it working? Is it working? Oh wow! Oh wow! It's working. Gee. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Hey guys. Hey guys. It's Mike Brady. It's Mike Brady. <laughs> This is, <laughs> this is, uh, uh, this is, my, this first is my first live stream ever, ever uh, on, this uh, on this channel. Uh, what, I'm uh, what I'm doing is, is playing a little, playing a little World of Warships. I don't know, I don't know um, how good, how good this, this is going to turn out. out. I'm not. Uh, I haven't played, played, played for a long time. I wanted to do, want to do this for a little, little stress, little stress test. test. See how it works. See how it works. Look, at the, look, at the, look at the size of this thing. Look at that. Look at that. This is this a, is a, um, this is a German, this is a German battleship, battleship and, and uh, it, was never, it was never built, but, but I'm sure, I'm sure they, they would have loved to have, to have built something like this. Look at the absolute, absolute scale, scale of this ship. So I'm using, so I'm using um, um, the new streaming software. The only downside is it doesn't show me what, what, people, what people are saying. saying. So I'm just going so to have to... Oh, it's echoing. Oh, it's echoing. Oh, I know, oh, I know what's wrong. I know what's, I know what's wrong. wrong. I'm using the, I'm using the wrong microphone. microphone. That should be better. that should be better now. It's echoing. It's echoing. How could it be How echoing? Could it be echoing? I don't understand. Oh no! Now, oh, no, I, now I understand. I think that I think that should fix that. Fix that. Fix it. Hey, Will. Hey, Will. Hey, James. Hey, James. We, got, we got OG Goji. Goji. The gang's all the gang's here. here. This is the channel, is the I, channel I can get away with doing with doing things, things I couldn't do on uh, Ocean Liner Designs. It's still, it's echoing. still echoing. What? I don't understand. Let me see. Let me see. Am I watching, Am I my, watching stream? my stream as well? Well, well. Let me have a look. Let me know if let me know if that fixed it. I'm trying to. I'm trying to fix it. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. Let me. Let me. Um, um, this is like. This a, is like a. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna post in my Discord. My Discord. Is it still, still echoing? echoing. All right. Well, All right. You well, know, you know, while we're, while doing, we're doing this, this um, um, <laughs> it's still, it's still echoing. echoing. I don't understand. I don't understand. Ah. Uh, USS, USS Whiskey, Whiskey says, says it's still echoing. Uh, let's uh, let's bring this over here so you can see what's going on. It is. Still it echoing. is still echoing. Oh, okay. Okay. This has now, this become, has now become a Mike Brady troubleshooting, troubleshooting stream. There's literally, There's literally nothing for it to be echoing from. All right. I'll kill my desktop audio. It's a delayed, it's a delayed echo, echo, and it sounds like I'm watching the stream. Okay, I just, okay, I just destroyed. destroyed. I, just I, I just turned off desktop, off desktop echo. echo. Uh, 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 did that, that fix it? Please, please say, say yes. yes. <laughs> uh, uh, what? What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Are, you Are you serious? It didn't fix it? Okay. 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 Well, okay. Well, this look, this isn't. Oh, this is so, oh, this is so typical, isn't it? Isn't I told, it? I told it's you, it's not an Ocean Liner design, design stream, stream unless something, unless something breaks, breaks or goes wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Doctor, Doctor what is he saying? No, it didn't. It didn't okay. fix it. Okay. Okay. Everyone's, okay. everyone's, everyone's, everyone's chipping in. Um, um, it's still bugged. It's still bugged. Oh, oh. oh. Did that fix it? I think that might have fixed it. Did that fix it? Do I sound good now? It did fix it. Listen, look how, look, look at this, look at this. Look how complicated this is, all right? So this is the streaming software that I'm using. There's me a thousand times disappearing into the distance. One little setting. See that little button there? Now it echoes, now it doesn't. Unbelievable. All right, well. <laughs> what, a, what an exciting stream. How good, hey? Are you guys enjoying this? Honestly, what a noob. Will Beckingridge, so many mics. If, is, is it a little quiet? I can um, turn myself up. Okay. What we're going to be doing is playing Well of Warships. This is a video game. Go 
Mr. Rando says, have a gold star for your efforts. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Well, what should we do? So, um, the, the way this game works is you've got tiers from one to 10 and, um, you can basically like pick whatever tier you want. Um, in this instance, I'm, I'm kind of open to, to whatever you guys would like to see me do. We just go straight into tier 10. Let's load up. Actually, there is a, uh, there is a ship down here, which is definitely the most fun. Um, uh, the Nikolai. Look at this thing. Okay, so this is a Russian battleship um, that they, I think they started building and then never actually finished. And um, essentially, all it has is guns. <laughs> it just has guns. There's nothing else really going on. And uh, what they had to do was ban the ship, essentially. They, um, they introduced this a few years ago. And, uh, it was so overpowered at its level. It's only a tier four, so it's pretty long ways down the list. Um, it was bullying all the other ships, so it had to be, it had to stop being sold. And I, I got one of the ones, um, as soon as it came out, I bought it. Because at the time I was like, I'm going to buy every product that they release. And so they, they stopped selling it like a week later. There's no way for me to see what you guys are writing unless I pull this up on my phone. Right, like this right now. Here we go. Okay. Nonsensical nautical ramblings says, Man, you made me choose between Weird Al and your live stream. I'd go with Weird Al every time. <laughs> I'd pick Weird Al every time. You serious? This is, um... I hope people don't come to this channel looking for informative... I'm sure I'll find a way to sneak, you know, history things in there somewhere. Will Beckingridge says, Mike, please make an HMS hood video. Yeah, I've actually got one in the works. Funnily enough, I might try a different tier because this is being a bit, sl a bit slow. Um, I do have a, a, a video on the hood and the Bismarck coming out soonish. It was actually meant to come out this weekend. Neomlet says, I'll, I'd go with my extreme because there's a 10% chance I'll learn something. Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know that you will. I don't know that you will. Oh, Historic Travels is, uh, is trying to talk to me. Let's see what he says. Banter. Sam's asking what banter is. Banter is when two friends chat and it is funny. And they maybe insult each other. I'm live now. Let's see if he wants to talk. All right, here we go. Let's do something. Let's do something ship related. How do you pump out videos so fast? A, t a, a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. A, a shocking amount of, shocking amount of coffee. Here we go. Look at this thing. Isn't it cute? This is Japanese destroyer. Um, what I always found interesting about these things was uh, down here on the um, the forecastle. Yeah, see how it's curved at the edges there. Here you go. Who, who Neomlet wanted to um, wanted to learn something? I'll learn you something right now. See how curved the uh, the edges of the forecastle are here. That was to um, to ensure drainage of water because. These ships were so small, comparatively, they would have been decks awash three quarters of the time. So they would have been like submarines. So we've already been spotted by aeroplanes, um, which is really not how you want to start a game. We're already being shot at by a cruiser. All right, I'm going to put... Oh, the Andrea Doria! That wasn't the Andrea Doria I was expecting. <laughs> Oh, man. Where did he come from? All right. I'm getting distracted by Historic Travels messaging me. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to blame Historic Travels. RMS Oceanic. Hey, Mike. Hey, hey, Oceanic. Okay, we're no longer detected, but those, uh, those aeroplanes are about to detect me. I want to go for this battleship. He's just, like, striking out by himself. I think I got a seven-kilometer range on these torpedoes. Yeah, seven kilometers. 
We're gonna have to close the distance. We want to go all uh, Stockholm on this Andrea Dora, you know what I mean? Oof. Oh, it's bouncing bombs. That was cool. Okay, I just have to put a little distance between me and these cruisers. Where's he going? He's still out of my torpedo range. I want to get between um, the Congo and the Andrea Doria. If I can sail right up the middle there while remaining undetected, I should be able to bully those two battleships without any problem. Ship nerd, I showed you to my mum and the first thing she noticed was your mole and then she showed me a clip of Austin Powers. Thank you very much for that. Oh, that's where the, um, the airplanes are coming from. There's an aircraft carrier, but meters away. Uh, you know what? This may have actually been a bad idea. <laughs> oh, that looks like it's going to hurt. I was right. It did hurt. Damn, I am being... Uh, very, very badly uh, bullied by these aircraft here. Can I uh, smoke up? Yeah. He's still gonna get me. Wow! Ah, uh, so sad. I didn't realize there was an aircraft carrier right on top of me. That's funny. Okay, well, great start to the game. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm disappointed by that one. I was doing way better the other night when I started doing this. Trying to do homework in your stream is tough, but worth it. <laughs> uh, do your homework. Nonsensical nautical ramblings. I've been um, meaning to get this game for a while, but I've either A, not remembered, B, confused it with a different one, or C, feel like I'd immediately rage quit. Well, I almost just did. Aircraft carriers, man. Game audio is very quiet. Yeah, I turned it down because I didn't want... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll turn it back up. I'll turn it back up. Sorry. That. Go away. Alright, I think that should be... Let me know if you can um, hear things better. Oh, man. How are you all doing anyway? What's going on? Ship nerd. Oh no, ship nerd. Don't worry. Don't worry, man. The, um... Look, the mole thing. I'm used to it. It's literally attached to my face, you know? Um... <laughs> it's not a mole, it's a beauty spot! French, French aristocratic women. French aristocratic women in the, in the 16th century would, would paint little... Little things on their face. Maybe tell your mum to go and watch, um, Marie Antoinette. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, tier four is just not is not going to load for me. Let's go uh, a slightly higher tier. I I promise I'm actually I can be good at this game at times. Let's roll with the North Carolina. I really like this ship. This is a fantastic battleship for its tier. Um, it's got a very very uh, tanky bow. So that thing. What I what I love most about this ship is all these little anti aircraft guns here. It's like a little. Little anti-aircraft gun party. It's cute. Where'd you get that shirt? Hmm. This is a um a white Starline crew jumper. That um the company J. Peterman made immediately after the movie in the late nineties, and um it was sent to me by a, a Ocean Liner Designs viewer, and uh, I guess he just liked the 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 videos, and he was like, hey, I got this I got this jumper. You can have it if you like. Oh, you guys have actually been on the North Carolina? You know, I forget that for you guys, they're just in your neighborhood, you know? They're just around the corner. For me, they may as well be at the bottom of the ocean. They're so far away. Not like I, I, I don't want them to be at the bottom of the ocean. You know what I mean? You've been on the North Carolina as well? OG Goji has uh, aimed the 40 millimeter on it. That's cool. There's a um, museum ship near me and they've got a Bofors cannon set up and you can, you know, do the, uh, one person can do the elevation, the other person can do the, the, uh, rotating the turret, I guess. Very fun. 
Third class uh, stoker, Michael C. Brady on RMS Olympic. Yeah. If I were... <laughs> if I was like the lowest level of, of um, sailor aboard the Olympic, this is how I would be dressed. Alright, well let's support this little um, contingent over here. I guess we got a tier 6 cruiser here, the AO bar. Okay, that's good. Usually, um, what the game does is try and tee you up against big, big, scary tier 10 ships. But, um, so far we're at the, uh, the top. I'm just worried about these two aircraft carriers, but I do have this little anti-aircraft gun office set up. <laughs> Autonomously crewed 20 millimeters that have no crew member there controlling them. It's pretty, pretty advanced technology. Yeah, says, hello Mike. Hi, yeah. Hey, uh, hey, uh. I don't have the game, but it looks fun. It is fun. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, it's a good game. We got good range on this bad boy, so let's see what we can hit. That Dunkirk is about to come into range. Yeah, I've been playing this since 2015. I've been playing a long time. 2015 or 16 when it came out. You guys in the Lusitania game, honestly, it is not cancelled. The Lusitania game is definitively not cancelled. We're still working on it. They're still chasing me up for parts of it. I, I, I'm still working on the hull. <laughs> so I know it's not cancelled. <sighs> Maybe steer away from that island. It's, um, it's not ideal having Japanese destroyers on the point because they are ideally placed to ruin my day. But so am I these guys. If he... That's definitely going to go on. <laughs> there was an attempt. Are they all going to hit the island? Oh, two went through! And they missed. Okay. Well, you know what? This is like perfectly following the, the pattern sent by my evening last night. I had a friend over. I made pizzas. I made two pizzas, right? One of them came out fine. The second one, pull it out of the oven, the shelf collapses, and it lands face down on the floor. Saddest, saddest moment of my life so far, I think. I want to go for that Odin, but that Leander, if he's sailing broadside to me, which he... I think he is. No, he's just doing a turn now. If he's turning towards me, he's going to have a bad time. Come on, where are you, buddy? Where'd you go? Oh, he's firing. How is he not detected? Come on. Alright, I'm just gonna wait here a minute. I'm not detected. Nothing can see me. Where is he? Oh, I think he crashed into the island. <laughs> he did. He crashed into the island. If I could put these shells through this little hole here. Oh, oh. Surely, 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 surely. Oh no, he's going ahead now. No! Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> Alright, I should probably focus on this uh, this very scary German battleship who is a pay a paying a little attention to me now. He's a little bit on fire. Mike looks weird without his tie. Uh, it's like seeing Alec from Technology Connections without his brown jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I gotta differentiate. Like, you know, I, I do like dressing up. 1,000 damage. Wow. I actually could be in a little bit of trouble here. I got... That Hatsuhara is too far away to get torpedoes on me, but I'm, I'm most concerned about this, uh... This Odin. If someone could help me with that guy real quick. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. That'd be good eight. Oh, he is turning. He is giving me a nice broadside. I don't know that I'll be able to... I can even get these in these gun turrets that'll penetrate his uh, citadel. Alright. So, um, German battleships. I don't know if Odin is the same. I think it is, because they've got the same armor scheme, but essentially they've got um, this thing called turtleback armor. It's heavily reinforced. It means while most ships would give you a nice flat broadside and immediately uh, face plant and eat all your shells. German battleships are really good at tanking damage from the side. So you have to kind of put it in their decks. 
Oh, terrible, terrible dispersion. All right. I'm, um... What's hitting me right now, right, at 10 kilometers away, is that dude's secondary guns, which he's not controlling. They're AI controlling. And they're doing more damage than anybody's main gun <laughs> main gunfire. And he's 11 kilometers away. All right, come on. Give me some hits. Oh, that's good dispersion. That's good dispersion. That looks good. That looks good. It's looking good. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, all right. I didn't get the kill, but um, at least he's out. All right, let's uh, go up and bully this Dunker. What's he doing? He's he's just chilling. Is he even sailing forward? I can't tell. I think he's sailing slow ahead. Put some shells out on him and see what happens. Now I think he's stopped. Is he moving? Okay, yeah, he's moving very, very slowly. Alright, let's move up. Chicken Pancake, how'd you make those 3D models in your recent videos? I tried to show you on the, um, on the weekend stream. Uh, turns out, this brand new supercomputer that I bought had a technical fault. And, um... Remember when it was crashing? I don't know if you guys were watching that weekend and it just kept crashing the stream every time I tried to like load up my uh, my 3D ship models. It was because I had a tech fault, so I had to take the thing back. Big pain. All right, what's he doing? He's, <laughs> he's just having a bad day. Why is he not moving? I don't understand. I'm not even gonna bother, he's, he's done for. All right, we've taken this flank. Very good. Let's move on. Yeah, Edwin remembered, yeah. Yeah, it was funny, I um, I took it back to the shop. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh! Full broadside. Full broadside. Keep going, keep sailing, keep sailing. That was, uh, they're gonna overpenetrate. Out there, yeah. Uh, he realized just at the last moment that he was about to absolutely eat all of those 380 millimeter shells. It's a shame that I fired then though, because if, if I'd fired now, put those through that hole in the island, he would be, he'd be done for. That's all right. While we're doing that, let's, um, let's push him and we'll also get some shots off on this aircraft carrier. Oh, not. Oh, he's, he's sailing a lot faster than I thought he was. Sorry, I haven't uh, I haven't played for a long time, so just give me give me a little time to uh, dial in my <laughs> dial in my range <laughs> uh, for all the. Uh... Is the stream crashing for other people? Is it? Shouldn't be. Sorry, guys. This is a little. You're all my guinea pigs at the moment because this is my first time streaming a game before. All right, so this boys should be. Oh yeah, he's 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 right there. Overpin. Oh, he's scared. He's going to reverse. He's going to try and back up. Does the boys have torpedoes? I guess we're going to find out. What I really want to do is hit that aircraft carrier. Okay, anyway. Oh, poor guy. We've all done this. If you've played the game, we've all overextended and then got scared and tried to hide behind an island. You know? Sorry, man. Oh, he does have torpedoes. Look, he just dropped some. Sorry, boys. Aww. Sorry, buddy. Aww. Little salute. Oh! Oh, that didn't. That, that was fun. That really didn't do anything. Oh, that's a nice, juicy little target over there. Edwin, it's running as smooth as my Sunbeam Radiant Control Toaster. Can you explain what the situation is with this toaster? I was it you that was talking about this the other day in the in the in the chat? 
I, I have to remember that the um, firing trajectory of these things is is uh, fairly tall. I have to aim well, well ahead of the, team is the lead. of the enemy warships. Where's he going? Yeah, he's he's done for. Um, where? Oh, these guys. That's not nice. Torpedoes ahead! Ah, oh, so annoying. I, I, um, he's actually in a very good spot. I have no way to get shots off on him. So I'm going to have to try and turn his, um, turn his flank around that island. Alright. What else is going on? Oh, we got another North Carolina, but he's firing high explosives. Oh. The ship is on fire! Yeah, I know the ship is... <laughs> the ship is on fire. I can tell because I'm currently suffering third degree burns. Our team has taken the lead. All right, if we can turn this island, um, we'll be able to put that island between us and those enemy battleships. Oh, did we not capture the area? Oh. Yeah, I want to. Oh, they're coming around. They're coming around to engage. Are they? Yep. Yeah, they are. Damn it. Well, that's ruined my plan. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Turn too much, turn too much, turn too much, turn too much. Turn too much. much. Alright, this is it, boys. This is it. Who would win? One North Carolina or two North Carolinas? <laughs> Problem solved, sir. I don't have to deal with all these aircraft. I might actually have a chance at this because one of those North Carolinas cannot hit me at all. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to park behind this island so I can just deal with these one at a time. But these aircraft are going to absolutely eat me, so. Oh, man. Starting to feel a bit like the Yamato. Look at that. <laughs> Get wrecked. The ship is on fire. Man, it's like a never ending stream of aircraft. Oh, 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 can I get this North Carolina here? What's he aiming at? Oh, he's aiming at me. No, those are going to hit the island, yeah? Alright. We're just going to park. Oh, wow, something, something hit that North Carolina. I wonder if I can overpen his bow. Is that going to do anything? Nope. <laughs> they all bounced. Oh yeah, this is going to be uh, five direct hits, isn't it? Yeah. Ugh. Wow. Oh man. I'm done. I'm pretty much done for. But um, I'm just going to slap this guy one last time. Somehow still alive. That was like last night when I was making those pizzas and I dropped one. And just the second before I dropped it, I said, my friend warned me and said, be careful, be careful with the pizza. And I said, don't worry, this is the one I care most about. And that is the point at which I dropped it on the floor, upside down. I shot down 54 aircraft and it still wasn't enough. It still wasn't enough. Oh. Oh, so sad. Just pull the Mauritania. Yeah. <coughs> oh, Edwin's giving us um, uh, the, the toaster lore that we've so desperately wanted. 
It's a toaster that uses the thermal expansion properties of the heating element to automatically lower and raise the toast. It also uses a thermostat instead of timer for perfect toast. This sounds like a 1950s infomercial. Why, you want to know what the sunbeam is? I'll tell you. It's a toaster that uses the thermal expansion properties of the heating element to automatically lower and raise the toast. It also uses a thermostat instead of a timer for perfect toast. Remember, if it's not Sunbeam, is it even worth eating? And don't forget to smoke Chesterfields. <laughs> Let's go for a Destroyer game again, because uh, Destroyer games are fun. Um, I was watching a video uh, of the Lockheed Super Constellation. It's my favorite aeroplane. And they had pilots from... Uh, Eastern Airlines who went up in it and they were explaining how they take off and how they get up to altitude and everything. And then when they get to altitude, the pilot literally leans back like this and he goes, and now that you're up here, don't forget to light up a lucky strike. <laughs> and he pulls out a deck of cigarettes and hands them around and gives one to the engineer, one to the co-pilot and lights up himself. And they're just sitting there flying one handed, smoking lucky strikes. It's just unbelievable. Ocean says, could I ask you a question? Technically, technically you just did. But I will, I will say you can, you can ask me another question, yeah. Gotta respect that 50s announcer voice. <laughs> just hours listening to the Jack Benny, or the Colgate comedy hour, you know. Hi, kids. Do you want to be cool like granddad? Well, here's the way how. Buy Chesterfield. Don't buy Chesterfield, it's bad for you. That pilot has balls of steel. Yeah. I'm going on the battleship North Carolina in December. I'm excited. Oh, Sean, that's cool. Yeah, you got to take some good photos for us, man. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see that. This is my... I'm having breakfast here. It's one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm having breakfast. Mm. I was up until... Uh, up until three getting the P&O video done. Oh! There's a submarine there for a second. That was exciting. Yeah, I was up until late getting the P&O video out. Jello, Mike. Jello has ex six. Are you are you guys here? Tell you what, write out some 1950s style um, ads, and I'll read them out for you in my 1950s announcer voice. There are six exciting flavors to choose from. This one's mango. Hmm. Nutritional and tasty. Remember, if it's not YoPro, it's not Action worth stations. the effort. We got the whole squad here. Yeah. I don't This is probably, uh... This is probably going to end badly, given that there are... Oh, no, there's only one aircraft carrier, but the German aircraft carriers hit, hit different. They're just... They're just hard. This match is dedicated to the memory. Oh, my goodness. I'm just writing in caps. This match is dedicated to the memory of the... Johan van Olden Barnevelt 2 taken from us too soon. Let's see what they make of that. Okay, there's uh, we got some trade already. The uh, 50s announcer's voice is rusty and ambiguous in nationality. Yeah, it is it is rusty. I um if I really try I can make it work. going on over here. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Don't want that. Don't want that. Oh, did he just smoke up? Oh, he did. Let's get... Okay, he's going... He's turning. He's turning. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're going for the... Um... Actually, that Fubuki will have just fired torpedoes at this Nicholas. So this is probably a hot area. But we know... Yep, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna try and... Get in a little gap here between these. Oh. Okay, we're good. Alright, so he just ate some of those Fubuki torpedoes. But the Fubuki doesn't know I'm here, because he hasn't seen me yet. Will any of those hit? That would be a miracle. No. It is good practice just to put torpedoes into smoke, because, uh, you know... There's usually 
Oh. He's coming straight at me. What's my detection range? Oh, I forget. I'm just gonna smoke up. Smoke He's uh, 7.3 clicks out. He is sailing towards me, but he is executing a turn now. You know what? Oh, we'll just get some tools out. It doesn't take too long for me to- Ah, oh, Detected. Detected. Konigsberg. Where did you come from? Ugh. Alright. Well, we're just gonna have to sail away. At speed. Because, um, This is not ideal! Ow! This is not ideal. This is not what I wanted. There we go. Okay, we're good. Those are looking good. Those are looking good. Oh, uh, nah. Nah, he's sped up. Ah, oh, Typical. Those last ones. Oh, I got one. Alright, he is overextended. Um, and there's nothing can detect me. So I'm just gonna... Go up this side. Introducing Brady Cruise Lines. Vessels totaling $2 billion made with some Photoshop editing and a Google image. Brady Cruise Line. That'll make you want a bottle of brandy instead. Oh, it'll make you want a bottle of brandy instead. Remember, kids, if you're not sailing Brady Cruise Lines, it's not worth going. Jello has six tasty and exciting flavors to choose from. Cherry, lime, lemon, grape, Lusitania game cancelled, and orange. They make a refreshing treat at any party or social gathering. <laughs> Thick or thin, frozen or fresh, rye or wheat. The Sunbeam Radiant Radial Control Toaster will toast it to perfection. With the beautiful chrome finish, it'll look splendid in the kitchen. Sunbeam, get some sun into your life. He's going to hit the edge of the map. But ideally, those torpedoes are going to hit him. This was taken from an actual ad? Really? Really? I thought you just came up with that. With the beautiful chrome finish, it'll look splendid in the kitchen. Oh, someone already got him. Oh, man. So lame. 1950s advertising is something else, huh? Mm. Engine boost deactivated. Does World of Warships come recommended? Yes, it is. It is free. It is free to play. You don't need anything other than time, which I certainly don't have a lot of. So this is uh, this is me just having fun. Again, I was up until like. Uh, three o'clock last night, so I'm just, I'm just blowing off some steam. I'm just going to do this, uh, occasionally. I mean, uh, you know, uh, you guys may not, uh, may not find this as interesting as my Ocean Liner design streams, but, um, you know, this is, this is just, this is just for me. Let's, but I also like hanging out with you guys, so. Is today your day off? Not really. I will get back to work after this. I, um, I just wanted to kind of mess around for a bit. Make sure this computer's working. Let's see if we can kill steal this Aoba. Oh, he's gonna get it. Unbelievable! It was like 500 damage. If I sneezed, he would have sunk. Mike, if the whole ocean liner drawing thing doesn't work out, you could always be a TV announcer. I, I can definitely do like an Australian newsreader voice. I don't know if it's the same in America or wherever you guys are from around the world, but um, when newsreaders talk, they don't talk normally. You know, they talk like, um, in Australia at least. I'm Mike Brady with ABC News. A car has crashed into a house in Brunswick this afternoon. Police believe the man was travelling at three times the legal speed limit. It's that... Na -na 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 In other news... Hey kids, do you want a tasty summer snack? Why not try... Asbestos. It's light and powdery. You can fit into your bags easily. Take it to school. Good luck, everyone. I'm enjoying it. I do prefer when you did it in the Discord. It's more personal. Yeah. You know, um, ideally, like, in future, I'd have, like, a guest in Discord with me. I invited Sam from Historic Travels. We'll see. We'll see what he's doing. This, is he, uh... 
Oh, I'm apparently I'm I cameo in his uh, recent video. Uh, well, let's go watch it after this game's done. What do you think? I'll check after this game. All right, let's go watch Sam's video after we're done here. Funnily enough, the Sunbeam Radiant Control Toaster was very popular in Australia. Edwin- OH MY GOODNESS! Sorry Edwin, we've got a, a, a developing situation here ladies and gentlemen. We've got a, a very angry looking German destroyer, the T-22, so I can only assume there is a relationship to the T-9000 of Terminator fame. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a lot more, uh, a lot more dicey than it actually was, but I guess I had some- I had some help. All right, so we've we've almost won. I mean, if I can bully this repulse, that'd be great. I'm Mike Brady with BBC News. Local maritime disaster strikes as ocean liner design cruise ship collided with light ship. The last thing heard by any of the crews was, "Hi, it's your friend Mike Brady from Ocean Liner Designs." The first model of the Sunbeam toaster was called the T20. Edwin, Edwin, what's what's going on? What's the explain the toaster situation to me, man? I gotta I gotta understand where the where the fascination comes from. You know? Was it like your first toaster? Is there something in particular about the toaster that you find appealing? Will's asking as well. I'm not I'm not um you know, I'm not being rude, I just- I'm just curious. I- some people like cars, some people like- even like ships! Imagine that. But toasters, I'm just, uh... Just love to know what the deal is. It can explode in water. <laughs> Toaster designs and illustrations. Well, I so- as you guys may or may not know, I studied as an industrial designer, so my job would have been if I actually went and did what I trained, product design, like toasters. I'm fairly certain those are all going to miss. Oh, there's a submarine right there. Oh, we don't like that. Let's um, suicidally rush this battleship uh, for the meme. What do you think? Full speed ahead, boys. Engine boost activated. Is he going to... What's he... He's not even aiming at me. Well, I can't really do anything to him. Like this. I just want to get within ramming range and then fire all my torpedoes into him. In one hit. He's furiously firing at me. Okay, I'm going to try and ram him, but I'm just going to keep up the fire on this Fubuki. But I know that Fubuki just got torpedoes away on me. So here's the question. Can I get to within striking distance? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. He's turning now. He's turning now. He's committed to the turn. Now he's swinging over to port, but those are still going to hit. Yep, yeah, he's going to eat those. He's going to eat them all. Is he going to eat those ones? He has to have one of those eaten. Come on. Yes, there we go. Right. Oh, but that for he's got me. Ah. <sighs> Ocean Liner Designs, Mike C. Brady Collection of Ocean Liner Inspired Bedroom Set. I'm selling furniture now. Just when you zoomed the camera, I thought there was a school bus just chilling in the water. <laughs> Can you do another episode of Five Ugly Ship Makeovers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, um, I'm doing one. I'm also doing another um, Good Ship Makeovers. Um, we will. We will do it. Edwin. Edwin. You haven't explained yet. You haven't explained why you like this toaster. You said, it's the way it toasted bread with the thermostat. Technology connections. Okay, so you saw it I, You saw it on the YouTube channel. And um, now you're a big fan. Alright, well. Uh, let's go and see what Sam's done. Sam from Historic Travels has made a video. Oh, it's a premiere. Alright, so, right, so before we begin today's video, we need to talk for a moment. The first thing I want to say to all of you watching this video is that, is that I had no intention 
to make another video like this so soon. You know, like, while it is fun to do these occasional videos, you know, where we're all just kind of having fun and acting oh, Sam and all that serious stuff, about this. it's not the primary focus of my channel, you know, because the primary purpose of my channel, which I'm sure you all know, is to tell the stories of famous ocean liners like Titanic, Lusitania, and so on and so forth. But on occasion, it is funny to do something like this on occasion. But if this is the case, then why am I making another one of these videos? Sam too? sounds serious. Well, you know what? It's because of all of you. That's why oh, I'm making okay. He's just bullying the community. What happened was, about two nights ago, I became aware that our favorite YouTube channel, Brightside, up uploaded another Titanic video. And initially, I'm just like, okay, whatever, I'll look at it at some point. But then, I kid you not, as I was beginning to research the next topic that I'm going to cover in a official historic travel... Sam's crusade. Sam's crusade against Brightside is so funny. <laughs> and it is a crusade. I was looking over at my Discord, and my Discord, and this isn't an understatement, my Discord literally lost their minds. I mean, the chat was going nuts. People were talking like crazy. And everybody said, Sam... You need to review this bright side video as soon as possible. So I was like, okay. Yeah, okay. sorry, this is live stream inception. Because, you know, apparently bright side, you know, they just released a new video and apparently it's so bad <laughs> that uh, they want me to cover this as soon as I can. And can you guys hear this all right? Action videos so soon, I'll be able to undo the damage that Brightside did a little bit by stopping people from watching the video and getting fooled, you know, instead of coming into it months or years later when millions of people have already watched it and been duped by it, maybe I can stop them from getting the wrong information. So I'm like, okay, okay. When you put it that way, I guess I'll go ahead and do another Brightside video. But still, guys, remember, I'm going through this mental torment for all of you. Just remember that, guys. <laughs> all right, everybody. Well, hey, with you, the intro you know what's out bad? Of the way, let's now get into. You know what's bad when there's a, a five minute preamble. <laughs> you know it's going to be bad. Today's video. Oh, and guys, if you are new here, please subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot because, guys, we are so close to a hundred thousand subs, and the I would toaster. love to get there within the next couple hey, of Maritime months. History. So, guys, I'm counting on all of you. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And okay, let's get into the video. Apparently. Apparently I make a cameo in this video. I don't know why or how. He's, he's mentioned the channel. Hey everybody, so once again, welcome back to my office. <laughs> but the link this doesn't go anywhere. Do. Sam! <laughs> right side just uploaded this video. Only the real Titanic experts can pass this test. I really 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 want to watch this video for all of you right now and react to it but <laughs> this <laughs> you know what bright side how about you guys become titanic experts the highlight of the last stream was the cruise ship photograph you know, yeah what makes you guys the titanic highlight of this one will be edwin's toasters you get wrong but anyway all right so um if you guys would like me to watch this video and react to it in another video just let me know in the comments below and i might do that in about a month or so so i don't want to keep sam wants a link to my stream too much but anyway okay so back to the video that we're going to be talking about here it's this video right here and the video is called seven factors that may have doomed okay okay, okay. okay. But when I look at this thumbnail, it looks like they're showing different sinking scenarios. So when you say different factors that may have doomed Titanic, I would think you're talking about like a series of events Wait, that happened that to look contributed to helping the Titanic sink. But from here, it looks like they're just showing different sinking scenarios. So we've got 1912. It appears they're showing the Titanic sinking intact. You got 1995, that looks like the breakup that's from the James Cameron film from 97. And then we've got the break. Brightside the break. is unbelievable. Look at this. What's the size of the... Okay. I really hope what I'm thinking right now isn't true. 44 but million subscribers. The only official consideration oh. of the V break came from a drawing that Jack Thayer had done while he was on board the Carpathia after the disaster. He was basically describing what happened and how the Titanic sank, and another one of the Carpathia's passengers made hey, this really famous Beluga. sketch Sorry. of how the ship sank. And in that sketch, he shows a V-break happening. But Jack Thayer later said that, no, this isn't how the Why ship Why do people really care about Brightside? Basically, that should have... Well, because... 
because two days ago, 51,000 views, 25 million views on a video about Titanic being torpedoed and not hitting an iceberg. 25 million. That's as much as the population of Australia, the country I live in, the entire country watched this video. It means that on all my videos about the Titanic, I get thousands of comments saying, no, you're wrong. Titanic was actually torpedoed. And it actually corrupts the narrative of history. Look at this one. 39 million views. The truth about the Titanic has been revealed. And it's, it's just, um, it's dangerous. You know, it is dangerous. Yeah, RIP to my recommended videos. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It, it deserves 44 million subscribers. My channel does. I appreciate it. Did because how based on how the Titanic sank and beat break is I must fight bright side. No, I'll, I'll leave that now, to Sam. The only person I'll that I know of who was really pushing that today was someone that many of you probably already know who who it is. Aaron nineteen twelve. If bright side knows about this, do you think Aaron nineteen twelve will make an appearance in this video? I'm telling you, if Aaron nineteen twelve makes an appearance in this video, I'm going to lose my mind. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would honestly be surprised if they even know who he is, but he's made such a name for himself with how much he screams on forums that maybe they did hear about him, but if he's in this, I'm going to die. Aaron1912 is hard. prolific. It's really interesting. I mean, the guy's everywhere. You know, he's posted on forums and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, and then 2021. So this shows like the sinking scenario that's web. So that's what I'm determining here. But just looking at this thumbnail, why is the Titanic sinking backwards? Also, why so does I the think ship the stream might have disconnected there for a sec. And why are the funnels back. red? Is the Titanic a canard ship now? A three funnel canarder? Is that what's happening here? <sighs> okay, well, I've got the video ready to go here in another tab, so... Without any further ado... Let's this is still the preamble. This. You know it's bad. You know it's what bad when sure it's a, 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 a 15-minute preamble. What do I do for you? Breathe people? in, breathe Guys, out. Guys, please give this video a subscribe if you're new here, and please give the video a like. Just... Hey, mate, so hi in the chat, they will lose I'm their minds. This. I already said hi. I said hi earlier. I don't want to... Okay, this go. is your video, Sam. I don't want to distract. Can you guess distract. how many theories of the Titanic sinking exist? Okay, why is the moon out and why is there like, <laughs> is the Titanic like a horror ship now? Bright globes, including a theory of my own, which I'm going to share with you today. Okay, wait, wait. I need to rewind. Hang on. Men, can you guess how many theories of the Titanic sinking exist? Bright globes, including a theory of my this own, is going to be which so I'm going to share with you today. You have your own theory on how the Titanic sank? This'll be good. And then you can decide which one seems most likely to you. It's not a religious belief. That's not how the stern looks at the bottom. Sam's right, but it's not a religious belief. You know what I mean? It's like, then you can decide which theory suits you. You know, it's like, what point is the boiling point of water? What temperature? You decide. Is it 80? Is it 100? Ah, tell me what you think. In my opinion, the boiling point of water is negative 15 Fahrenheit and Celsius. By the ocean. <laughs> Whatever. One piece theory. <laughs> okay, so I was right. The thumbnail is basically there. I don't know why they're going seven factors that may have doomed Titanic. That title doesn't Titanic make sense. anime crossover with One Piece. About different sinking theories. Okay, so if they're just going to be talking about different sinking theories. I'm not really sure why my chat would have been freaking out. Unless they're butchering the theories somehow. Which, it's bright side, so... <laughs> okay, One Piece Theory. All so right, sassy, Sam. The very first version of the events was the One Piece Theory. It's very simple, and basically claims that the, the scene happened without any breakups. That is a true thing. That's what they determined happened in 1912 with the inquiry, so that's true. And what's interesting about that, by the way, I think I remember Ken Marshall talking about he was so devastated seeing the wreck in two pieces because in his mind's eye, he'd always seen it like in Raise the Titanic, sitting in one piece, beautifully preserved on the bottom of the ocean. And uh, yeah, I think seeing it broken up like that was was hard on him emotionally because he's got such a connection to the, to the ship. 2.15 a.m., the ship collides with an iceberg. 2.18 a.m. Did they just... Okay, you know what? No, no, no. I'm not going to comment on this yet. I'm going to rewind and I'm going to watch this whole thing and then I'm going to share my thoughts, okay? Wait, wait, wait. Do, what, what did they I'm just not say? going to... Sorry, so that's true. 2.15 a.m. <laughs> the ship collides with an iceberg. 2.18 a.m. 
Titanic sank in three minutes. It was, that's what the history books don't tell you. That's what the history books don't tell you. The Titanic actually okay, sank in three minutes. Just... Okay, you know, okay, you know what? No, no, no. I'm not going to comment on this yet. I'm going to rewind and I'm going to watch this whole thing and then I'm going to share my thoughts, okay? Oh, man. And basically claims that the sinking happened without any breakups. 2.15 a.m., the ship collides with an iceberg. 2.18 a.m., minutes. the lights go out. The ship reaches an angle of 45 degrees and then quickly begins its final plunge. The narrator the sounds like he's being held at gunpoint. <laughs> a.m., only about three minutes later, the RMS Titanic disappears under the surface of the ocean for good. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's official. I didn't know that it was possible. But... This is what I'm talking about. This is crazy. The, the, the basic errors. I make mistakes in my videos all the time. You know what I mean? And it kills me. But, like Sam said, we're 46 seconds into that bright side video and they've made a pretty, pretty basic, you know, very serious uh, mistake. That must have gone through the script, through the voiceover narration, then past all the animators who made that video. So there's a whole team of people working on this and at no point did anybody pick up on the fact that there's three minutes difference between 2.15 and 2.18. They just butchered a theory. No, 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 no. It is never... <laughs> okay, number one, if the Titanic sank in five minutes, they wouldn't have had time to launch any lifeboats. I mean, there'd be no survivors or next to none unless they pulled some kind of miracle and got a boat away. But no, even in 1912, they knew it took the Titanic around two hours, two hours and 40 minutes to sink. That isn't what that... No, the only thing about the One Piece series is that the Titanic didn't break in half, but no one was arguing about how long it took the ship to sink. I mean, <laughs> we're 46 seconds in, and they've already butchered a theory. Like, what the... the, the I can see a vein popping like, out in Sam's head. Is the the Titanic sticking out above the water there? So is the ocean now incredibly shallow? Is that what's happening? Okay, we are 46 seconds in, and we're seven minutes into this video. This is going to be great. The liner doesn't break. It just goes down as a whole piece. Of course, this can't be true. In April 1912, the Titanic was not only the largest ship in the world, but also the largest ship ever built. It's hard to believe. Titanic isn't only the largest ship in the world. It's the largest ship ever built. Oh, so badly written. Doesn't that kind of mean the same it's thing? It's like the script was run through Google Translate a whole bunch of times. You know what I mean? It's gone through 15 different languages and then spit out the, the other side. Doesn't somebody, like, double check that? I mean, unless they mean, like, there were bigger ships than Titan, but I don't think that's what he meant. And... Guys, are you seeing this? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys seeing this? Okay, look at the port side of Titanic. The uh, <laughs> the the railing that goes around the uh, the forecastle deck. It's out over the water. So what what has happened there? And this has happened to me in some of my videos. But sometimes in three D modeling software, you forget to turn on the fact that the material is two sided, and it means that the the texture is applied to the underside of the texture but but uh, sorry the texture is applied to the underside of the object but not the top surface so it makes it see-through and if you actually look at my um rogue waves video uh you can see a little moment of see-through lusitania look at this rogue waves Notice at the very tip of the prow, you can see the funnel on the other side. So that's because there's a tiny sliver of, of, of material there that isn't two-sided. So you can see straight through it. See? Um, that I didn't catch until after the video was finished. And so they've just not applied the deck, essentially. You can see the ocean underneath the railing. <laughs> like, do these, do these guys not care at all about... I want to know what's like hanging off the bow. Could have gone down without what's the railing? The railing that oh, oh, there you go. The entire bow section, that the whole prow of the ship, is is see through for the same reason. And it also looks like the the cargo hatch, 
The whole model. The whole model. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the whole model's busted. Around the, uh, the forecastle deck. It's out over the water. You can see the ocean. Yeah, I, don't, I actually don't know what's going on at this point. The railing. <laughs> like, do these, do these guys not care at all about... They just Google, like, Titanic 3D model. And that such a heavy vessel it. could have gone down without breaking. Yeah, there you go. Impossible. Yeah, see how... What? So, I, sorry, I, I don't mean to like get animation technical. I don't think anyone cares. But watch, you can just see that the deck pops into view as soon as the camera swaps side. That's because it's only rendering one side of the All of the about. deck. Watch as it comes around. <laughs> You'll see it pop back in. There we go. Such a heavy vessel and now the other side is see-through. breaking. See? That's just impossible. What? Ship in the world, but also <clears throat> the largest ship ever built. It's hard to believe that such a heavy vessel could have gone down without breaking. That's just impossible. <laughs> what? No, it's not. Big ships. Big ships. Was there big a ship like the Titanic that sank in one piece? Um, what was it called? Was it the Brit Britannic? That sounds familiar. Did the Britannic break up because it is so big? It was the biggest ship ever ever built but also the biggest ship in the world i am confused please help me google also i am hungry sunbeam radiant toaster okay well it actually brought us a, a result look at that why didn't titanic break apart well, I'll be damned. Bigger than Titanic have sunk, have sunk without breaking up. The only reason the Titanic broke in half was due to the very unusual circumstances that were involved with the way the Titanic sank. But look at the Britannic. Britannic was bigger than Titanic, but it didn't break apart when it sank. I mean, it's just... Great minds. Dude, <laughs> why don't you go through history and take a look at all the big ships that have gone down? I mean, it all depends on how a ship sinks that determines that. You can't just... <sighs> I just love how perturbed he well, gets. Well, I mean, you can't blame the theorists. Before we found the wreckage, there were no other theories. Well, wait a minute. Or were oh, there? Were there? The day after the disaster, the survivors gave their interviews. They talked Such about what bad happened. stock footage yeah, of an interview. <laughs> Such bad stock footage. Claimed that the ship had actually broken in two <laughs> when it had been flooded. So funny. This is a small thing, but this isn't anything like how the wreck is on the bottom of the ocean so let's just just throw that out there okay for example jack thayer a 17 year old boy outlined the thinking <laughs> he remembered it and ld skip i'm sorry <laughs> that is the face of a 17 year old boy you know in 1912 people smoked a lot more they aged quicker so jack thayer actually could have passed for a 48 year old man remembered it and LD Skidmon drew a sketch. <laughs> Is that supposed to be the sketch? Oh, it's so funny. Is that supposed to be the sketch that Jack Thayer had made on Carpathia? Is that really what this is? So just so you all know, um, you know what, here. I'm going to pause this for a second and I'm just going to throw right up here somewhere the real image that Jack Thayer had made on the Carpathia. And yeah, I mean, why didn't they just use the actual what sketch? What I'm looking at right here looks like something that Brightside did and they just threw some kind of weird filter on it. This channel. It's, it's in the public domain. <laughs> this channel is something make any else. Sense. That's all I've got to say. I mean, this. Oh, uh, OG Go just go to bed. See you, buddy. Description. The picture clearly showed the ship breaking in half. But no one believed Jack or other witnesses. There was no evidence. So their claims were received... I can't handle the stock fault. footage. FYI, I can't handle it. With how much debris was floating around from how the Titanic sank and everything like that, <laughs> it really is ridiculous that the inquiry ever oh, concluded so that the funny. Titanic sank in one piece. Because in case you don't know this, during the Titanic inquiry, so many of the Titanic's passengers said it broke. Yeah. We saw the ship break yeah. apart. 
But it seems like that for whatever reason, the inquiry went with the testimony of two key people. And these two people said that the ship sank intact, uh, Light Toller and Gracie. And it's not the fact that these men were lying. They probably really believed the ship sank intact. But what you have to remember is both of these men weren't in positions to see what the stern was yeah. doing. You know, both of these men were fighting for their lives in the water because they were close to the bow of the Titanic. And, you know, they're not really in a position to pay attention to the stern. So honestly, they probably really did think the ship sank in one piece. But at the exact same time, when you compare their testimony against how many other people said, did you see that? The ship broke in half. Like, it's ridiculous. it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that the Inquiry ever ruled that the Titanic sank in one yeah. piece. Anyway. I, I get, I, and sorry, Sam being all historical, which I respect, but I also, please, just somebody tell me I'm not going mad. The stock footage is so funny. This, this bearded gentleman in a hat um, conferring in a warehouse with plastic containers behind them is, I just don't understand. <sighs> Back to the video. But in 1985, things changed. Everyone at eBay at for sure are 100% sneakerheads. And skip. First breakup theory. That's when Robert Ballard found the wreckage of the Titanic in the depths of the ocean. When people saw the wreckage, it became clear that Jack and the other survivors had been right. The Titanic did indeed break in two. <laughs> This, uh, <laughs> this animation, <laughs> just seeing the boat deck and seeing the, the tower and all that stuff, like the, the compass tower just there and everything, it's just, it's ridiculous. Yeah. When it sank. So, it's time for a new theory. 2.15 again, the keel break. What? How did they get here? And what is going on there? What? What is... What's up with the funnels? Right. Look at this. The Titanic did indeed break in two when it sank. So, it's time for a new theory. What is going on? What? In the... What in the world? <laughs> gotta keep this channel family friendly. Sam. What in the heck Almost is lost this? it then. What's with the funnels? Like, <laughs> they're so... Hang on a minute. Did Commodore you? Rubik says, "I just realized Mike isn't dressed in 1900s attire." Technically, I am. This is a this is a, a, a replica crew jacket from about 1911. Yeah, I don't know if you've uh, ever heard of this company, the White Star Line. They um, they operate cruisers. They've got a great safety record. These guys not care at all about the quality of their animations. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. The first two funnels look okay-ish, but then the third funnel looks like it's really jack-legged on there. And Baluja gotta... says, look how they mascara our ship. <laughs> Which I can only assume I was meant to say, look how they massacred our ship, but I like mascara. It's way funnier. Fourth funnel doing whatever. I mean, like, in the way the color is, and like, it, like, okay, so... This Titanic animation is absolutely unacceptable because, I mean... Okay, so... <laughs> a couple of days ago, I was watching my friend Mike's... Uh, Mike Brady over at Ocean Lime Designs. I was watching his live stream, and I mentioned to him <clears throat> about... Disney bought a new cruise ship, and the thing looks absolutely ridiculous, and I mentioned that to him. And he saw it. He's like, what the heck? And in 30 seconds to a minute, I kid you not, with Photoshop... He edited the new Disney ship and made the thing look really good. I did it so quick, Sam, because I have no life. I have no life. I do this day and night. You can do things quick when you, when you really don't have a life. And he did that in 30 seconds to a minute, okay? And that <laughs> quick little thing that he did looks a million times better than this Titanic model that Brightside just spit out. And I mean, they should have had so much more time to work on this. I mean, it's just, they absolutely don't care. They absolutely do not care about the quality no, of their animations here. I mean, it's just, it's, it's absolutely They're content farm. It just... <laughs> They're content farm. Anyway. Uh, Does it up. matter? Does it matter when your video gets 40 million views? Breaks. The starboard list eases and the whole... Can Starboard I'm list. gonna have to pause that. Sorry, I know I keep pausing this, so I just have so many thoughts. A 40 million view video would have to have made 
at least a million bucks by itself. At least. They're making, if you, if you imagine you put out a video on YouTube, it makes a million bucks in its first year of life. So it doesn't matter about the, the accuracy or whatever. They're just, they're just making bank. Content farming, right? Don't you mean port list? All right, I'm going to restart this. So it's time for a new theory. 2.15 again. The keel breaks. The starboard list eases, and the hull continues to bow and crumble. 2.17 a.m. The galley sections break off. The towers immediately drop under their own weight. Where does this come from? Did they just call the funnels towers? And also, why did the third funnel fall first? And also, why is the Titan that far up out of the water? Why isn't the bow that far? Why isn't the bow under? What the heck is this? What the heck am I watching? The lights go out. The stern is pulled into the air. The bow breaks off and starts sinking. The aft is barely hanging on to the starboard side of the stern section superstructure. The stern section slowly... How much you want to bet that these people don't even know what a superstructure is? I don't know this is where this comes from, as it you know? Begins sinking again. It rises up one last time and pivots in a semicircle as it sinks. This is seriously like someone sounds. watched the um, James Cameron final word Titanic sinking documentary and kind of quickly jotted down some notes and then ran it through Google Translate 20 times through 20 different languages into like Aramaic, then German, then Italian, then back to English. So the double bottom bit when they're talking about the keel in Titanic, the final word, whoever was writing those notes was like, oh, the, um, the keel fell out, I guess. I feel like they have to put these videos out so quickly that they've got a room full of 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 children chained to typewriters watching actual YouTube videos about these topics and then those kids have to quickly churn out a script or they don't get fed. So they're just furiously typing away and they're like, oh yeah, the, the kill fell out. I don't know. And then um, it broke in half and then, ah. Eh. And then they throw the script at the guy, the narrator who's standing there with a, with a bullwhip like uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. And for legal reasons, I have to clarify that that's not actually real. That's just how I imagine it would look. That's, those are conditions. Those are the conditions that would put this kind of drivel out. So like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, that dude's got a bullwhip and he looks at the script and then he goes and he sits down and he's like, did you know that the Titanic and he does his happy little thing? Because how else? How do you explain that? Where does that come from? The, the kill fell out and then the... Pretty convincing right? But people began to find plot holes in this theory. For example, the Titanic couldn't have held together until it reached such a high angle. The breakup would have had to begin much earlier. So that's true. This only meant there was still a vast field for research and speculations. So people started to come up with their own possible scenarios. <laughs> oh, I love the stock footage so much. Ha uh, plans for a house. How good. Architectural drawings. How about we look first? We the think the crack originated here in the living room and extended through to the master bedroom. Ones no one likes. V break and Aaron 1920. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the video. Are you kidding me? He called it. Sam called it. He is in the video. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Aaron, 1912. When the memes become a reality. He has officially made it into a bright side video. When the memes become reality. Serious? So, Aaron, 1912 has made his presence known to Brightside. Brightside is aware of him. Man. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't have words. I... I don't have words. This is the biggest, but the best crossover of all time. Mike Brady, even Ocean Liner Designs, theory. and Aaron 1912. <laughs> be plausible enough to put into a video. This is just going to make him even more famous. Like, I just... <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Well, B break. According to the first breakup theory, the Titanic reached a high angle and the weight of its unsupported stern caused it to crack from the top down. 
but it's physically impossible. So, are there any other the ideas? So, in really case you all don't know, ideas. the general consensus among Titanic historians is that the stern reached an angle of somewhere between 23 to 24 degrees. That's the actual breakup point. So, just so you all know. In 2006, Roger Long, a naval architect, decided to research a so-called D handsome. theory. 2.17 a.m. The breakup begins at a shallow angle, perhaps as little as 11 degrees. The upper structure fails and starts to crack. At this moment, only its double bottom is holding the Titanic together, but it starts to bend under the strain too, failing the ship. Water is pouring through the crack. This sounds a little bit like the banana peel theory that James Cameron proposed. But hold on. It shouldn't be that difficult. It increases the weight in between the two sections, <laughs> bending the Titanic the other way and pulling it into shape Never mind. somewhat <laughs> resembling to Both the Both ends of the Titanic are like, whoop, 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 whoop. you know, physics stops working now. I'm going this way. Woo! It doesn't matter. B, physics don't matter. The upper decks get mangled and bent together. The bow heads for the bottom and the stern is the last to sink. Okay, so this isn't possible. I mean, like for to pull the bow at the point of at the time of breakup. Okay, like the bow was completely full or nearly completely full of water, and there may have been occasional air pockets, but not enough to generate a large amount of buoyancy. And if the ship really sunk like that, like the stern puts so much strain on, like, just pretend that the center of my hands here is the breakup point. If the stern puts <laughs> Are you so even much a real strain Titanic on the bow, fan, if you, or nerd, if you haven't done this at some point to explain to your friends or family how the Titanic sank. pull the bow upward into a V-break. Well, think about how much dead weight is in the bow, because there's no buoyancy. And honestly, I think that if the stern somehow managed to put enough force on it that it could potentially try to pull the bow back up, I think that part of the hull that is trying to lift the bow up, well, it wouldn't be strong enough we'll, to pull we'll that. Get I think we'll the bow would just, that part of the hull would just break. I hope I'm explaining myself clear. So it's, this is completely impossible. It's just, I'm not sure who this guy is. Well, I feel like I may have seen a documentary on this a long time ago, but this... Anyway, yeah, I remember that. That's just my I remember there was a this, documentary. So I'm not sure who this guy is. That, but that anyway, spirit, if you know yes. more, please let me know in the comments below. But okay. This theory has since been disproven many times. <laughs> what is up with their animation? Like, this is not how the wreck looks. Yeah, I've just stopped like... caring about that, Sam. I've just given up. <laughs> Roger Long believed it because the broken edges of the upper decks in the Titanic's bow section were all mangled and crushed. Down blast. However, we have learned that it happened because of the so-called hydraulic downburst. Before okay, so another word for down blast. Okay, so they're talking about the back part of the Titanic because how the back part is all collapsed in and it came down and everything. Um, that was from the down blast effect and everything. So basically, as the Titanic fell to the bottom, you know, it was pulling all this water behind it. And then when the ship hit the bottom, there was this massive down blast effect and everything. So that's what they're referring to here. But okay, so. Force of the water crashing into the deck as the Titanic hit the ocean floor. You can tell the difference between a, a garbage YouTube channel and an actual educational channel by the kinds of footage they use. So here's Brightside talking about the downburst or downblast and instead of actually animating and showing like the James Cameron documentary did showing what it kind of may look like and maybe having arrows pointing to show water collapsing like a column on top of something they just look up stock footage bubbles in water and have that playing in the background force of the water crashing into like the deck zero effort as the Titanic zero, hit zero the ocean floor another v-break theory states that the bow had risen out Oh man. Out of the water after the break. This theory was mainly peddled by one former Titanic enthusiast. But not only has this theory been so... proved to be physically impossible, <laughs> out of the water after wait, the wait, break, wait, 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 wait. They're crashing into the deck as the Titanic hit the ocean floor. Another V break theory states that the bow. <laughs> Can we talk about how Brightside is butchering? <laughs> The theory, yeah, <laughs> like... at every stage. It's like I said. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this animation. It is thing. like someone ran it through, like a, you know, like I said, Google Translate, and then somehow 
the water doesn't cause the bow to sink at all. It just heads straight for the midpoint of the ship. And then magically, the bow lifts up out of the water because no water was building up. I'll see you later, Dope Possum. Yeah, keep your brain cells safe. We'll see how many we've got left after this. And then a magic V break happened. Like, this is. As I said, these guys don't care at no. all about the quality of their nope. animations, or they're not even trying to even make these theories. You know, they're not even trying to show these theories correctly. No. They're just jacklegging it. It's just about the clicks. <sighs> Had risen out of the water after the break. This theory was mainly peddled by one former Titanic enthusiast. But not only has this theory been proved to be physically... Oh, uh, and then, and then, and, and then they get the breakup. <laughs> this is so... The bow does its thing, and then instead of the bow and the stern going down in a V pattern, the bow just magically drops, <laughs> and then the stern goes down. Yeah. Due to the bow's incredible mass, <sighs> it was also inspired by incorrect information. Remember Jack Thayer? That's not Jack Thayer's draw. <laughs> this is a bright side image with filters, but whatever. Well, it was based on his sketch and the words of a couple of passengers. But the truth is, none of them had ever seen the Titanic break down like this. Wait. Jack himself even stated in an Wait. interview that the sketch was completely out of context to what he had actually seen. It was drawn by a passenger on the Carpathia. The ship that received the Titanic's distress signal and came to its aid. Okay. It couldn't be used as evidence. Wow. Now that we know wow. this. Wow, they actually actually got across a salient historical point. I'll be damned. Yes, Thayer's drawing was done by a passenger having heard his account of the sinking. And uh, I think Thayer may have done some rough, rough kind of like outlines of something or maybe the passenger did. I forget exactly who, but then that very, very rough sketch was later on turned into the sketch we all have seen a million times. <sighs> they got across some some historical knowledge there. There you go. Move on to the theories that most people believe in. Another app. If you want to ace your paper, download Grammarly. Or James Cameron's banana peel theory. Okay, the banana peel theory. Um, so, before they butchered this, I think you guys need to know what the banana peel theory really is. I'm going to have to so, stop. I'm going to have to stop. Seconds. Because not only can my brain not take it anymore, but um, I'll probably get back to work in a minute. But what's interesting here, I'll finish this video, Sam, because this is interesting. But what has that got to do with anything? Seven factors that may have doomed the Titanic, right? So that's just a clickbaity title, and then they're just running through janky breakup theories one by one. It's, um, it's infuriating. Because again, like millions, millions of people uh, watch it. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. The Highland Batman. We're wait, we're, it's about wasting time for ads. You know? That's what it's all about. Come on, let's get... Should we get, like, one last game in before I head off? What tier are we going? Come on, give me a number between 1 and 10, guys. Give me a number between 1 and 10. I'm just gonna, uh... I'm just gonna wait while those come through. Let's get some containers while we, uh... While we, while we wait. Seven seven nine four six three seven. That's a lot of tier sevens. That's a lot of tier sevens. Oh, Sam, glad you enjoyed the video, Mike. Yeah, I'll I'll finish watching it. Um, I just have to in maybe like ten minutes get back to work. But uh, we should do one of these, one of these together. I think that would be hilarious because uh, I would love to join you. We had all the same thoughts. You know what I mean? We, we have the same brain when it comes to uh, Brightside. Alright, looks like we're doing tier 7. Mm. Oh, well, you know, if it's going to be a meme match, it's got to be a meme ship. And uh, the Atlanta is like the king of meme ships. We're doing it. So the Atlanta, for those of you who maybe haven't played this game before or are watching from home, the Atlanta is a, is a light cruiser, American light cruiser with... No armor. So it's made out of eggshells. But it's got the same guns as American destroyers, which fire super, super fast. It's got radar, so it can see destroyers and see through smoke real easy. So if you're a destroyer 
trying to do some sneaky things and an Atlanta comes around the corner, you're in trouble. But if you're in the Atlanta and anything other than a destroyer comes around the corner, you're in trouble. So let's just see how long I can stay alive. I'm going to be hugging islands as if, as if they were my, my loved ones. Mike, one thing I really hate about Skybe's what if, what if ship videos is that he did not show how the ships escaped or avoided disaster. I don't know, um, Skybe's, but, uh, we'll see. Edwin Salisbury says, I thought the king of meme ships was the SS Great Eastern. No, no, the, uh, <sighs> there have been memeia, there have been memeia ships. I think the uh, the Atlanta, as far as warships go, that class of ship was um, was pretty memey in real life. It was meant to be like an anti-aircraft platform and a dual-purpose destroyer hunter, um, which means in the game it's hilarious. POV, you see anything else but a destroyer on the Atlanta? Yeah. It's like the, the kid from uh, Home Alone, Macaulay Culkin. That's the face I pull in my Atlanta when I see literally anything other than a destroyer come around the corner. This next game, I'm just going to um, do... I'm just going to not prioritize my own safety, put it that way. We're just going right up the middle. Attention, attention, please. We're about to perform a test of the building's fire system. The following tone is a test only. Please do not evacuate. I repeat, the following is a test only. Please do not evacuate. Thank you. Really? This is the only downside to living in an apartment block. You get this stuff. Just wait. Any second now, it's going to be like... Whoop, whoop. Warning. Warning. Oh, this is exactly the map I wanted. This is great. This is great. On this map, you can go right up the middle. <laughs> Yeah, so there are two islands here, right? And there's a channel right up the middle. And if you're, um, if you're smart, or in my case, not so smart, you can go right up the middle and chill out. You can just chill out between those two islands and be a real pain in the backside for the enemy team. James Crab Melbourne moment, yeah. Alright, here we go. Give them a hard time. Where are we at? Oh, there's two enemy aircraft carriers, but we do have a ton of anti-aircraft guns, so we should be good. All right, we're going. We're going for it. We're gonna stream past that little little waterfall. Go right up the middle. Here we go. God, I knew it was coming, and it still scared me. Okay, it's working. I'm just gonna turn the microphone off. It's working. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh man. Mike is inside the ship right now. Yeah, yeah, that felt that felt real. Oh, those could hurt me. Those could hurt me. Come on. Knock him out. Four. Four dead. Come on, get him. Oh, he knows. Mike Brady funny moments. Yeah, that's a stream highlight. What are the odds? What do you reckon? The, the first time I, I ever stream a game or do a, you know, just like a relaxed stream like this and the fire alarm starts going off. Okay, it doesn't look like anyone's going up the middle, so, um. Oh! That wasn't a bad shot, actually. That was closer than I would have liked. Hmm. Oh, their aircraft carrier is headed for the middle. He's like just over here. Okay. That's interesting. All right, here we go. I'm either going to become a, a real pain in the enemy's enemy's butt or I'm going to uh, be immediately killed. And it looks like there is an enemy battleship going right up the middle as well. And uh, if you guys remember what I said about being in the Atlanta. 
is the last thing you want to see as a battleship. Or literally anything. Alright. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. I'm just gonna have a little. Affirmative. There are so many aeroplanes. Undetected by something. Oh, that is so not what I wanted. My only option is to beach my ship to port. Oh, at least his guns aren't pointing at me. Is he turning? Which way is he going? Oh, he's going that way. All right. Um, any second now, he will be... No, he's turning towards me. All right, full speed ahead, boys. We're doing it. We're doing it live. Uh, all he has to do is sneeze at me and I'm dead. See? <laughs> I should have beached. This guy um, has actually done a very good job of uh, ruining my day. We'll see if there's any destroyers around that I can see before I die. Um, he, instead of continuing sailing away from me, he has turned to engage, which was actually a very, very smart move. And now I'm going to die. At least now his turrets are pointing the wrong way so I can get some shots in. But now he is about to fall out of range because he's behind the island. Which is good. But these aircraft may finish me off. Let's see. Is that torpedo going to hit me? Oh, it just scraped the paint. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, he's come back! He's come back! This guy! This guy is a lunatic! What is this guy doing? He's got, he has got my number. He has got my number. What's my torpedo range? Four and a half kilometers. What's he doing? Is he coming towards me? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna hide out um, and swing around and just get some torpedoes away at him. Although, he is going to get some, some shots off at me. Uh, he is going to kill me, there's no doubt, but I'm just gonna try and torpedo him. There's no way I can survive this, like, I'm done for. But, we'll get some armor piercing out. Oh, oh we got him! He's flooding. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that actually worked. That guy was committed. He was committed to ending me. He. At no point did he turn away. He t he goes right around the entrance of the estuary and then comes back. He didn't want to let me have it. He was just like, nah, nah, we're, we're, we're sinking this guy. He was committed to that. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Oh. Lunatic. <laughs> guys, guys, we hit... Explodes. Well, this has been fun. What do you think? This has been good. Maybe next time um, I can bust out one of these bad boys. This thing is crazy. A single gun turret. Here's a, here's a historical fact before you all log off, alright? Just to prove that this isn't just me, you know, messing around. A single gun turret from the Yamato class weighed as much as an American destroyer. If not more. So this is the USS Benson. It was renamed the Liu Yang when it was given to the um, the ROC. But weighed as much as one of Yamato's gun turrets. Have you guys ever seen this? You can go to um, the naval base port and look at the underside of um, of the ships that you're playing. So you can see Yamato's four propellers 
And um, you can just see it's got a second rudder. Do you see there are two rudders? I'll try and point at it for you. The second one is here, just behind the North Carolina tile. You see there's a second rudder there? It's kind of cool. And uh, another little interesting thing about Yamato, she had a bulbous bow. It was pretty cool. Um, beautiful looking ship. And then we can bust out the Grosser Kurfürst, which is, I think, actually longer than the uh, Yamato. Um, with three rudders over each propeller. Also with a, with a bulbous bow. They never built this, of course. Um, but if you go and you pull out like a little destroyer like the Bliskovica here, and they take you over to the little slipway. Cool, huh? It is for maneuverability, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want, you know, as many, as much turning circle as you can get. So if you can hang your rudder over on the prop wash of one of those propellers, you'll get a little more turning circle out of it. God, that's a beautiful ship. British built. Anyway, I, you know, what I love about this port is you can look at the ships, but I end up not playing the game. I just end up kind of like zooming around the 3D models. Has anyone here, all right, here's a little question. Has anyone here actually been on the Belfast? Because it still exists and it's on the Thames in London. Have you guys been on board? Isn't it beautiful? Kenya, when are you going to do another episode of Bullship? Uh, soon. I guess we can do it on this channel. Yeah. I don't know if, um... If Sam's still there, if he's keen to do it. I, th I know he said he's keen to do it. I reckon we just do it on this channel. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Yeah, what's crazy about this thing is um, in the game, I mean, it looks tiny. But oh my god, if this isn't like the biggest ship, you know, like walking around it, it's, it's just massive. So in real life, the scale of these things, that's why I like this, this ship here. There's, uh, to sum this up, there's a great photograph uh, let me go and get it for you. Um, there's a really cool photograph on the Masashi, which was the Yamato's sister ship. Look at this. Look at the size of that foredeck. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at, see that guy all the way up at the prow. We're so used to the prows, the very fronts of ships getting very tapered and narrow, but that was still so broad and wide. Look at that. So you really don't get that sense of scale in, in the game sometimes, but that, that thing, I mean, that could fit like a hundred guys just standing side by side. Look at that. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rows of guys, right? You could fit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. You could probably fit about 40, 40 men across. And that's not even the widest point of the ship. That is just forward of this gun turret. So that's, that's the width of 40 dudes just standing side by side. And midships is just even bigger. I mean, that's incredible. Anyway, this is the kind of stuff I, uh, I lose my mind over. Ah, oh, well, this has been real. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, we started off with like four people and now we got 30. So, uh, welcome. Uh, this has been my first stream on the, on the Mike Brady channel. We've talked about toasters. We've talked about everything really. Somebody made fun of my mall, my beauty spot. I'm probably going to go and uh, get back to work, but have a, have a lovely day. I'm going to do this um, haphazardly and kind of when I feel like it. Maybe Wednesday nights, your time in the US. Wednesday nights could be good. Edwin Salisbury, a toast to you. What kind of toast, Edwin? <laughs> Chick Vicious, these are fun. These are fun. Yeah, it was nice chatting with you guys. Um, let's do it again soon. What do you reckon? Maybe on the weekend. When I feel like getting sunk in World of Warships again. <laughs> oh, Lord help me. Okay. Goodbye. I'm going to turn this off now. Have a good night. <laughs>